All right. Um, leaving Publix, going to Canton, and it's going to try to turn right. It put on the left turn signal for a second and then went back right. So that's definitely still an issue. All right, not sure why it jerked left there when I enabled FSD. All right, so this is um, something I pointed out before, but um, so the road is closed up ahead. If you watched my video on the way here, I had to do a detour. It sees the detour somehow before there are any um, signs. I'm not sure why the map data has the detour. Um, you can see it does kind of a right turn and then left. So normally you would just go straight through here. So n not sure how that has that in the map. Oh gosh, yeah, there's a giant pothole there. And that truck even, um, that truck, went over the curb to turn next to me. So yeah, that's the, on the way here, I avoided that road. It, it tried to turn late, um, but I disengaged because there's a pothole. The curb is kind of rough. Oh, speed limit's wrong. Um, so I just scrolled that down. So yeah, that that's a really bad spot to put the detour. Um,
Okay, that was a little jerky there, leaving the uh, roundabout. So I've got to remove this stop. Yeah. So as you can see, um, I didn't have a signal whenever I was setting up my route. No, it's not speeding up. Okay, now it's speeding. So I didn't have a signal when I was setting up my route. I just had to drop pins and all of them say unknown location. And also I've been testing uh, T-Mobile on my phone and T-Mobile does have a signal at Publix. AT&T does every once in a while and Verizon does not at all. Right, it's not getting over. There it goes. Okay, if it's going to pass, it better pass quickly. Okay, good job, except it's 35 now. So I got back in the left lane because um, there are three uh, police cars with lights on in the road up ahead in the right lane. So also up ahead, um, I need to turn right and there's a right turn lane that goes up to a school up ahead um, and it always wants to get in that far right lane which only goes up to the school and if you're in that lane you can't get back out of it but uh... we'll see what happens here I've got to get back over See, it wants to pull into that right lane, which has pylons in the way. Um, you don't want to be in that far right lane. And all the signs are very clear that that lane is only for the school. So here's another thing, it stays in this lane even though it clearly says the lane ends. And you'll see it go to the last second, whip over and go across the yellow line, just slightly. So that's something I wish it would not do.
All right, that was my fault. Um, my stop was right there. Didn't realize it. And it got in the left lane and then um, wasn't going to do a good stop at this light, so I disengaged. Again, I would like to not have waypoints, but rather have custom routes. All right, it is stopping for this cone that does not exist in the road. So that's back. And it just, it keeps wanting to stop. So I'm hitting the accelerator, trying to get it to go up to the line. There we go. So yeah, I'm not sure um, why that uh, phantom cone situation is still not fixed. Those cones are sitting on the sidewalk, and it only happens in this car. In the Y, it never sees a phantom cone there. And I think it's because the cameras are higher, so it sees right away that the cone is sitting on the sidewalk. Because um, it renders them on the sidewalk right away, rather than um, rendering it in the road first and then in the sidewalk. And here we go. It slowed down by itself. I did not scroll it down. Oh, yes. It did so good there. Um, I would like it a little bit to the left because it's a little uncomfortable, but it did it on its own. It slowed down on its own for the first time. Usually I scroll the wheel down um, to get it slow, but it actually slowed down and made the turn without a disengagement which is awesome and remove my stop I was too busy um, getting excited about that all right so it rendered um, that car right there those two cars as one car with a door open at first uh, probably because it was a dark car just barely sticking out Okay, it's got the stop line, the creep wall at the right spot this time. Very good. Um, it still needs to not speed up like that. And I wish it would, uh, if it would slow down quickly with a scroll wheel, I would just do that instead of braking. But um, yeah, it, it just takes too long and it would still be going 30 miles an hour through uh, that section. So anyway, thanks a lot for watching. Hopefully you like the improvement in video quality. And uh, I'll see you next time.